So if you were like me and you had no idea what the difference was between a micro motor and a pendant motor for jewelry specifically, then this is the video for you. When I first started my jewelry business working with silver and gold, I started with a Black & Decker little Dremel type tool that I got from Amazon. And then I noticed that the people that I liked watching making jewelry were using a Fordham pendant motor. So that's why I ended up going down that road and getting the Fordham SR pendant motor. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite tools in my studio. And I'm going to tell you all the reasons why, but something I had never heard of or never saw anyone using was a micro motor. And if I did see someone using it, I didn't know it was a micro motor. I had no idea what that was until this year when I started this YouTube channel and I met a friend, her name is Gabby, and she messaged me and she insisted that I try a micro motor. She was so passionate about why a micro motor was better than a pendant motor, then I knew I had to try it. So thankfully our friends from Pepe Tools are sponsoring this video and they sent me a micro motor, which is so nice. So I got a Fordham micro motor here and a Fordham pendant motor. Pepe Tools is a US based jewelry supply company, but I believe they ship all over the world. They have so many tools from micro motors, casting equipment, uh, like consumables. So they were really kind to send this to me so I could make this educational video for you. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Adriana and I've been running my handmade jewelry business for about four years, but only three years of working in silver and gold. I started off working with silver sheet and wire, but now I wax carve and cast all of my pieces at home. And I recently went full time this year on my jewelry business and that's why I have time here for YouTube. I think one of the biggest things to note about me though is that I am self-taught, so I'm learning a lot as I go. Hence why I didn't know that a micro motor existed or what it was. I did Google what a micro motor was once my friend Gabby had told me about it. And in my eyes, I just saw two pieces of equipment that were accomplishing the same thing. But now having used this micro motor for about a month now, there is a big difference between the two. And I wanna tell you what those are so that you can make the right decision on which tool to buy. Because although one is significantly cheaper than the other, they're both still pretty expensive. So let's talk about the differences between the micro motor and the pendant motor. So first it's important to note visually that a micro motor is gonna sit on your desktop typically, and a pendant motor is going to be free floating on a, some sort of hanger that's attached to your bench. The second big difference between a micro motor and a pendant motor is that a micro motor is typically a higher RPM but a lower torque, and a pendant motor is typically a lower RPM and a higher torque. So one is faster, one is slower. But the micro motor is significantly faster than the pendant motor. This Fordham micro motor has 50,000 RPMs, whereas the Fordham pendant motor has 18,000 RPMs. Having said that though, I've been using my pendant motor for three years, maybe a little bit less, maybe two and a half, and I've never found the speed to be an issue. But one of the ways that the micro motor is so superior is that because it does have those higher speeds, for people who are setting a lot of stones and doing a lot of like precision work, having that higher speed is gonna make your work a lot cleaner and is going to protect your burrs. Another big difference about the micro motor is that it can be ran manually or by a foot pedal. I personally love using the foot pedal. It's what comes more naturally to me and I find it to be a good safety feature. I have had time and time again where I'm using a radial disc and it goes too far inside the ring and the ring starts spinning around with the radial disc and flies away. And being able to take your foot right off the pedal is really helpful. I'm sure there are times where you would like to have the hand where you just push the button and it starts spinning and then you push the button to turn it off. But I haven't come up with a good reason in my head to ever use that feature. One thing that I've absolutely loved about this micro motor is that it is so incredibly quiet compared to the pendant motor. The pendant motor isn't obnoxiously loud by any means, but it is significantly louder than the micro motor. It also vibrates a lot less than the pendant motor as well. It's just very smooth and very quiet. I'll insert a little clip of both compared. So we'll put in a clip of the micro motor. And then we'll insert a clip of the pendant motor. Very different. Another big plus to the micro motor is that it's incredibly comfortable to hold. I think because I'd never tried anything different, I didn't realize how much better it could be. 
but it's actually very uncomfortable holding the flex shaft for as long as I do sometimes. There are days where I'm sanding and polishing and setting stones all in one day, so I have that flex shaft in my hand the whole time. And although the cord's not heavy, it's just not anywhere near as flexible as the micromotor. And over a long period of time, it does get more uncomfortable on the wrist than the micromotor. Another good thing about this micromotor is that it has a brushless motor. I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of what that means, but it pretty much has less parts that contact each other. There's some magnetic component in the motor that creates like a magnetic thing to help it spin. I'll put some verbiage down here that gives a better description than I'm doing, but pretty much you've got less metal on metal, and so the motor inside will last longer. And that's also why the whole piece of machinery is so much more quiet, because you have less contact. Another thing that I like about the micro motor that's very similar to the pendant motor, I have a quick change handle on my pendant motor, which I love, but the micro motor also has a not exact quick change handle, but it is still quick change. One involves you flipping a little switch and inserting your piece and then flipping it back down. And the other one you just twist once, pop your piece in and twist it back. So they both have a really nice quick change tip, which makes you a lot faster and gives you a better flow when you're changing tips so much while you're working. So both of them are good for that. Both the micro motor and the pendant motor can run forward and in reverse. I personally haven't had any reason to run mine in reverse, but I do think it's important to know that you can do both on both. So now that we've talked about all the good things on the micro motor, let's talk about the pendant motor and all the good things that it offers. So first off, and I think what's probably most important to a lot of you guys is that the pendant motor is nearly half the price of the micro motor, but knowing the complexities of the micro motor and how it's made and how much longer it could possibly last, it does make sense as to why it is more expensive because this pendant motor is a more old school type motor. One of my personal favorite things about the pendant motor and what made me choose the pendant motor in the beginning, this specific one at least, over other pendant motors, are all of the accessories that come or can be purchased after buying the pendant motor. The pendant motor that I have has the key tip on the end of the flex shaft and so it allows me to have the quick change handle. There's also another handle, I don't know what the name is, but I'll put it up here. But I love my quick change handle. It also allowed me to buy the hammer hand piece, which is how I set all of my stones. And uh, Whereas the micro motor, I couldn't attach my hammer hand piece onto that. And so for me, that's huge because I don't have any other way of setting my stones. I don't know how to do it the old school way with a hammer and a punch. I love my hammer hand piece and I don't know how I could live without it. So. I love all those aftermarket accessories as well, like the sander that you guys see me using all the time that's attached to my pendant motor. That's also from Pepe Tools. It's amazing. If I didn't have my pendant motor, I couldn't have that desktop sander. I also love to use the Lion Punch Forge whenever I am grain setting anything. And that is an attachment that only works with the hammer hand piece. If I'm wrong about that, someone correct me, but I believe it only works with the hammer hand piece. But I'm sure there are more aftermarket accessories that I don't know about, but those few are enough for it to be worth it to me to get that pendant motor. I did share that it can be uncomfortable in comparison to the micro motor to hold for long periods of time. But like I said, I've been using it for two and a half years and I never really realized that it wasn't super comfortable until I used the micro motor. It's never been a problem, but when you try something that's better, you know, you know, you start to notice those little things. Having used and fallen in love with the pendant motor and the micro motor, it's really, really hard to say which one I would choose. If you're just now getting started and you're on a budget, then obviously the Ford Pendant Motor is probably the one for you. It's more affordable, still very reliable and well-built, and has a vast array of tools that you can buy after the fact, making it a more versatile tool, probably better bang for your buck. But on the other hand of that, if your budget is a little bit higher and you're also wanting to focus more on stone setting, maybe doing a little bit more detailed work, then the micro motor is probably gonna be the one for you, especially if you have no use for the hammer hand piece. Maybe you already have a sanding setup, then the micro motor is definitely gonna be the one for you. It is by far 
quieter, more refined, more comfortable. Definitely the one that feels more luxurious. If you have the budget to have both and you want both, I do think that they are different enough to serve two completely different purposes that you could have both and not feel guilty. When I only had my Ford Independent motor, I used to have to switch my handles back and forth between my quick change handle and my hammer hand piece. So now the way that I use these two in my studio, I keep my hammer hand piece on my pendant motor at all times now. And I have my micro motor on my wax bench and I'm able to reach and use it at both benches. So when I'm doing wax work, I'm using my micro motor. And when I'm sanding or setting stones, like burring out holes, I'm using the micro motor as well. So I only ever now use my pendant motor whenever I'm using my hammer hand piece, the Lion Punch Forge, or the desktop sander. I hope that this video was able to clear up the difference between the micro motor and the pendant motor. I was so confused at the beginning as to what the big difference was, why was there such a big price difference, but now after knowing the nitty gritty and the power that the micro motor has and the way that it's built, it does make sense as to why there is such a difference in the two. And thank you again, Pepe Tools, for sending over the micro motor so I could make this educational video for you guys and so I could see what the rave was about because when you research micro motor versus pendant motor, people do tend to lean toward the micro motor more than the pendant motor. So different strokes for different folks. I love my pendant motor so much and it performs in so many different ways. So whatever you're needing out of your tool, I hope this helps you pick which one you need. And if you guys enjoy these types of videos, let me know if you want more tool reviews and I will happily do those for you. I do love making my studio vlogs, but it is nice, I think, for both of us to change it up a little bit every now and then. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please, please, like and subscribe because it really helps my channel grow and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.